Hey, how you guys doing? Looks like I'm back in prison again. So here I am. I'm going to give you guys a little video on Star Citizen and how to use its VoIP. So lean back, enjoy, and while you guys are watching that, I will get back to uh, doing that mining. Cheers, lads. Okay, so first off, we'll jump right into the settings. We have the comms, VoIP, and head tracking tab. That's the first spot we'll go to. Here, you want to make sure that your actual microphone is selected. I, I recommend taking it off default. The other one you, you want to adjust to is microphone volume. Make sure that's full up. There's another section that we'll take a look at too for that. Uh, VoIP audio volume, obviously 100. And voice activated versus push to talk. We'll take a look at the push to talk settings in a second. Um, the voice activated, I only use it when I'm piloting. So when I'm in a turret or anything where my hands are on the dual sticks, right, I can't take it off to push and I'm not using my mouse, then I do flick it on. Otherwise, I leave it off. There is another in the tip section. I'll show you how to mute your Discord at the same time with the push to talk. So it is better to use the push to talk. Uh, and the rest of it is VoIP. Uh, related stuff, and we won't go into that. I can do another one on that. Other people have covered it. Alright, so let's take a look at key binds. Now, I'm going to stay on mouse and keyboard. We'll go to the advanced. And then right down at the bottom, you have a FOIP and head tracking. So, the two ones that you really want to have mapped, and these will be mapped by default. It's uh, plus sign on numpad and I think shift plus by default. I put them on my mouse buttons because it's easier to use, you know, with my thumb. To click them on and off, etc. Uh, but the difference between these two is this will broadcast to your suit radio, so it uses the radio, where this will only broadcast to the local bubble around you, so i.e. people standing around you. So if you want to have a little side combo all quiet, you're using that button. It's hard to tell how they work, and that's something else that we'll do a little more testing with and get hopefully a little more clarity on how this is supposed to, to work. Cycle through audio channels is the other one that you use. It is bugged right now, um, but it does cycle through and it is one of the po pain points that you'll hit with using VoIP. All right, that's it for key minds. All right, and now we'll take a look at the comms menu. In here, right underneath the active members is the connect to audio channel with a toggle and a UX that looks like you can't click it. This is a lie. You can click it, as you can see, and it will automatically turn itself back on. This is your VoIP master switch. It's how, if you're having any issues when people can't hear you, the first thing you do is that. It will click you back on. The next one you want to check is the microphone. Make sure this isn't off like this or grayed out. Sometimes when the VoIP services aren't running or they're crashing or they're just turned down, once again, it's very opaque. Uh, these will just be grayed out, and this will be telling you that you can't use it. I can show you by creating a channel. In here, they're off right now. I can't turn them on because I'm not connected to the audio channel. This is one of the pain points that you'll have with it, but to turn it on, obviously connect to the audio channel. Any other member that is a, a, of the group that then does this as well, will show up, oh, I'll have to put my helmet on for this, in the top left, right beside VoIP, you see there's a little microphone, a one, and then the channel that I'm on, which is the VoIP channel. If I press my regular push to talk, the microphone activates, you see the proximity and comms are active, and if there were other people, members on the chat, you would actually see my name and their names chatting here too. It's kind of useful. The second one you see now, and you see how the icons change, it's just me speaking out of my mouth. So only people around me would be able to hear me. What's unclear about this is the channels. I, from my understanding, proxy is just anyone around you. The channel you're on doesn't matter. The local, the regular push to talk, the microphone, is using your suit comms, and the channel does matter. Everyone hears you here only people on this channel should hear you. Also, not reliable and opaque as well. Alright, let's talk about the VoIP bubble. I don't know a lot about it. There is a bubble of where distance and people can hear you. It's not very big. It's maybe a few meters around you. Um, and it will drop off as you go. So when you're, when you're testing it out, you, know, you can kind of see 
the range. You know, within a ship, you can't hear other people. It's unclear how materials block it as well. There does seem to be a fact, right, if a door is closed versus a door is open. Um, so when you're using the proxy ones, the local proxy, the, the just speaking out of your mouth, right, it, that bubble makes it has an issue. Um, of people going in and out of it. Of it. The most common issue you'll have with VoIP is related to the VoIP bubble and people entering and exiting your VoIP bubble. When this happens, they'll be broadcasting. It looks like they're broadcasting, but you will not be able to hear them and they won't hear you. Sometimes it will show them disconnecting from the channel. Sometimes it doesn't. The only fix to it again is that first one I showed where we go to F11, we go to our global chat, and we toggle. At this point, people should hear me now again in game. Now, this can also apply to others and yourself when you're not hearing people. So they may not recognize that they're not hearing anyone either and that they have to retoggle. So there is a bunch of pain points still with VoIP. However, it does work really well when it works. Now, let's show you a few tips. I'll pop up Discord here and show you that. All right, so for Discord here, um, you can see that I have two push to mute buttons mapped to the same mouse four and mouse three buttons that my push to talk in Star Citizen is mapped to. And the reason for that is, is so I don't double broadcast to the people on Discord. So whenever I'm chatting with people in game, you know, in Port Alistair and we're all around, we're chatting and I'm trying to engage with other people, they're not double hearing me. Otherwise it's, you know, super annoying for your, your people on Discord. And that's the only real tip I have for you for Discord. Just make sure that you have a push talk muted. When you're using voice activated in Starses, and also make sure you mute your Discord. Your people will love you. And as you can see here, you can only be connected to one channel other than the global channel. You're always connected to global. You you actually can't really turn that off easily. So it won't let you do it here. And as you try as I've seen before, the tip is we'll just reset it. But you can only be connected to one at a time. And this is where the period on the numpad comes in play, where you can switch between VoIP channels. This also applies when you're connected to a ship channel. Um, this can be a little buggy at times too, and it won't activate. You'll need to reconnect. So a lot of the times, you, you know, you'll do this, and you'll still need to go to the global chat here, and still toggle on and off. Well, just off, it turns itself back on. Which I love, right? Have you tried turning it off and on again? Is the core fix for this. <laughs> Alright. Hey, buddy. Hey, man. Can you hear me? Hey, what's going on? If you can hear me, jump up and down. Hey, can you hear me now? Can you hear me? If you can hear me, jump. Or crouch. Ah, he can hear me. He can hear me. I had to turn off my other channel. See, as you can see, channels are buggy. Cool, man. But thank you, Water. Thank you very much for being an awesome sport and showing exactly the point I want, that if you talk to people in-game, you cannot call them. Do not call them. They will not answer. But if you talk to them in-game like this, you know, they're awesome. People are awesome, just like Water here. All right. Oh, there you had it entirety of the video. Now you know how to use Star Citizen VoIP, some of the issues you may encounter, and how to work around them. Well, that's all there is, and I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Johnny Morgan M. Water Honor. <laughs> Vata. Vata Ata. The man of the hour. The champion of the VoIP session. Thanks, you, bud. This is a really good shot, actually, of you. A little panning. A little pan shot. Pan shot. There you have it, folks. You can use VoIP. It works. Even though it's a steaming pile of shit in some ways. <laughs> but it works. We will make it work.